I'll just give you a fair warning, but this is a question that uh, my time with the local Republican Party has probably been asked more often than any other uh, when it comes to discussing local politics. Would you support the Bartow County State Legislative Delegation passing local legislation to allow for the people of Bartow County to approve the creation of a Board of Commissioners? And this one goes first to candidate Tracy Lewis. If that is what the people want, that is what we'll put on the ballot. That is the way I feel about that. I served on the um, advisory committee back in 2005 or 2006 when the legislation wanted to put it on the ballot. And, we, and there were 30 of us that had to come up with the specifics of this, and it failed. I happened to be chairman of the subcommittee uh, that determined the number that we came up with and the districts that we came up with. So I was very involved in that process. It failed, but if it's something that the legislation and the people want to put on the ballot again, then obviously I would be open to it. Thank you. Candidate Mike Berry. I'm running for sole commissioner. We've got serious times that a committee presently doesn't need to be addressing. But you've got to have the right person addressing that. You've got to have a person with energy, with vision, and experience. And the reason I'm running is substantially because we're in this transition to the future. We have serious matters that must be addressed, no matter which direction it goes. But if the state delegation in the county wants a multi-mission board and I'm commissioner, which I intend to be, Steve, I will not be in the way. My county is why I'm doing this. This is not about me. This is about our county, my county. <laughs> and I will not be in the way. But right now, we need a sole commissioner with experience, with integrity, with vision, and an understanding of this county. Mike Beard, experience to move Barto forward. Thank you. And to Tony Tidwell. For those who don't know, many years ago, Barto County did have a board of commissioners. And it was voted on back in, my understanding, I think they went to a sole commissioner somewhere around 1927. Now keep in mind it was a lot smaller then, mainly just dealing with roads and a few things like that, I'm sure. Uh, I think it's been a uh, good form of government for us so far. We, I think we've had six commissioners since 1927, so it shows that with the, you people have done a good job on selecting the right person. Uh, but if the delegation and if the voters want to put that to a referendum about a board, then yes, I mean, it's not something I'm standing in the way of. Thank you. Candidate Steve Taylor. You know, we can't put uh, votes, uh, things on the referendum every two years. Two years ago, we the county voted for the sole commissioner, and I think it was about 60-40 voting for one commissioner. So every two years, we can't bring this up. I think it has to be 10 years, if I'm not mistaken, before this can come up again. Seven to Tommy. So we've got five more years before it can even be put on the referendum. I wouldn't mind putting it on the referendum if I was commissioner because the people should decide what they really want. We've got a pretty good effective uh, government running a one-man commission. It's uh, it's worked real well in the past. We are the largest county, I think Mike Bearden just said, the largest county in the United States with a sole commissioner. There's only nine left in Georgia with sole commissioners, and we're the largest by far, and it's been a pretty good a form of government, if the right person is the commissioner, of course. Thank you. Candidate Mike Abernathy. I agree with uh, Steve and the others here that uh, wouldn't wouldn't mind putting it on the ballot if that's what the people want, because we're here to serve the people. But I, I wouldn't see it coming back up, just like I said, even. And it's going to be, if the next candidate, Whoever gets this position, if we can go in there and keep the county running good, they're not going to want to change again. It's going to be the same thing. Clarence has done such an excellent job for 20 years that the people would put Clarence Brown back in today if he decided to run again. And I would step down today if Clarence said he was going to run. I would just pull out right now because that sole commissioner in a lot of the counties I've been to talk to people. It's not, I mean, where you got a soul that's working when he went to the board with the committees, they can't get an answer. Somebody needs to have something on their desk that says the buck stops right here. And you don't have to go to 14 people to get an answer. 
you can come to one man and say, what are we going to do, and get an answer without going through a committee in hard times especially.